Your sleep is the most important way to recharge your batteries, but you have to do it in a natural way. So stop using alcohol, pills or Netflix to fall asleep. Do this very simple Taoist self-massage and you will start yawning right away. But don't fall asleep yet. First, let me tell you why self-massage is so effective that your body is literally aching for it. And let me tell you what else you can do to get your natural sleep back the way you slept as a child. Hi, I'm Alex, the Dutch Taoist. And if you want a more grounded approach to spirituality and sexuality, then please subscribe so we can beat the algorithm together. So, do you ever have trouble sleeping and nothing seems to work? And in the end, all you can do is take a pill or a glass of wine to numb yourself. And then you wake up without any energy because your body needs natural sleep, not chemical. If you don't recharge, you're always tired. And then it becomes really difficult to have any positive goals in your life, let alone the energy to achieve them. I've had difficulty sleeping all my life. I didn't understand why, because I meditated a lot. I should be relaxed, right? But that changed when I started practicing Taoism. And now I sleep much, much better without any pills or alcohol. So why is that? Because we're living modern lives and that means most of your activities are in your head. Mental, talking, thinking, social media, etc. And that's why it's really difficult to shut down your head to sleep. Your thoughts just keep running. So we think we're just too stressed, but that's not the whole story. Because all that thinking and talking, we have too much energy in our head. Too much fire energy and not enough water energy to cool your system. So what you want to do is to get that energy out of your head back into your body. When you were a kid, you were grounded naturally and you lived from your belly, not from your head. You were much more stable and you slept like, well, like a baby. So before showing you the self massage, let me tell you what else I do to make sure that I will sleep better. Number one, try to remove all electrical stuff from your bedroom. The phones, the TVs, the phone charger. I know it sounds a bit woo woo, but all these things radiate energy and they can disturb your energy field during the most important hours of the day where you need to recharge your own battery, not your phones. And also check all the stuff in the room above or below your bedroom. Because for me, that was a game changer, believe me. Because nowadays we have so much electrical and wireless stuff. It's just piling on, you know, the phone charges, the cell phone towers in your neighborhood, it all has an effect on your body. And second, make sure that you have a rhythm. Now, it's very natural to get up a little bit more early in the summer than in the winter, for instance, but that should be like more of an automatic thing. Try to stick to a rhythm. And number three, no chemicals, no alcohol, no caffeine after 4 p.m. But you already knew that and not too much head activity before you go to sleep. Talking on the phone, reading. For some people it's okay to read, but you will get more energy in your head when you do that. And some forms of meditation are head-centered too, especially when you focus on thought processes, right? So make sure you don't put more energy in your head during meditation, that's all I'm saying. But see what works for you, and then let's go to the self-massage. Your body aches for physical contact. It's a body, it needs physical touch. This will send a signal to your system that you're safe, that you can slow down because it's like the touch of a loving mother that you give yourself. The body immediately reacts to loving touch. You're like, ah, it slows down and it relaxes and you will start yawning. The more you do this exercise, the more you will get some you know, yawning or burping or tears in your eyes. And that's not crying, but it's the release of stress in the wood element connected to your gallbladder and liver. So this is very, very simple. Just make sure you take the time for it before you go to bed. So let's do some self massage. I love this. We always start with this, you know, in the heart energy field of heart energy. You rub your hands, that's, they get warm. And we always start with this, around the navel, the lower down chin. I'm going to try not to yawn right away, because when I do this, especially in the evening. Now what you do is, 
you start making connections with the channels. So I breathe out and breathe in when I do this. Out and in. I'll use the other hand. Just do a simple meditation here. That's how I start. And then I make a connection with my legs. So I hope you can see this. And then rub the calves, right? And my feet. I go down and I go up again. And then the other leg. Down the feet. And I go back again. You're always gathering energy in your belly. This is my way of doing it, but there's probably a different ways to do that. I love to rub my kidneys then. And I would do it like this, for instance. We have a lot of tension in the kidneys. A lot of adrenaline comes from the, um, the kidneys. I forgot the word. The things that are on top of the kidneys. Adrenals, adrenals. Right. Okay, so now let's go to our head. Just get the energy moving again. Get the energy moving again. And what you can do is go the up. The inside of the nose and the, the air, uh, air, eyes, sorry. And then go, take the line on the, the back side of the body and go under the legs, all the way to the feet and back up again. This is just one thing you can do. You make connections, not just the self massage, but the connections to open some of the meridians. Go down on the legs again and then go up. It may look like a strange massage. You can just massage your whole body. I, I have just some structure to it, right? Now, I'm taking the outside of my arm here. And go here. And that's a certain kinds of meridians that you're activating here. Let's not make it too complicated. God, this is very nice. A lot of stress is in the neck, of course. So you can rub the neck and can always go back to the belly. So this is also very nice um, to go here around the ears. So let me do this around the ears and go back and then go all the way down the legs and go up again. Any way you want. This part is very, there's a lot of stress here. So go like this. And I go, oh, this is so good. I love doing that. That's where you get the, the tears and the yawning and the burping. It's a very easy meditation. So any place you feel tension now, the head, the neck, just start massaging it. Any place you want, to, you want to touch that needs to be touched. And you always come back to the belly. Just take time for this. Do this every night before you go to sleep and you will notice you start yawning. And this, the body, I feel so much more energy flowing in my body right now. It's a very simple meditation but I feel more centered and relaxed. And for me, this is the only way. Just before I go to bed, do this. Always gather your energy again in the belly, which will, you know, it will ground you. It will make you sink into your body, out of your head, into your belly. And I wish you a very good sleep tonight.